Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to strum chords on your guitar. Last week I showed you how to hold your plectrum and to use it to strum your guitar. Now it's very important that you keep that in mind. You shouldn't squeeze too hard on your plectrum for this. Now we can strum actually in both directions. We can strum downwards and we can strum upwards. Both are necessary if we want to give some momentum, some rhythm to our chords. So let's just start by strumming down and upwards. And go a little faster. So we actually go over the strings one way and the other way. Now there are a lot of different momentums and rhythms that we can give to these uh, to this strumming of the chords but I'm gonna give an example it's not too hard for example we have all right now what you're going to see with a lot of beginner guitar players they are going to move their right hand for strumming at the same rhythm as the chord they use, which shouldn't be. Let me show you how that looks. The same rhythm that I used, they're mostly, or they're going to do like this. Or they're going to just strum down all the time. You see? Now, the movement of my right hand wasn't consistent, there wasn't a constant tempo in there, and it should be. When I do it, it looks like this. And my arm just keeps doing this, keeps doing this. It's the same rhythm all the time, but what is different is that I don't strum the strings every time I pass by the strings. So let's just assume we do actually strum all the strings all the time when we pass by the strings at the same tempo. That would sound like this. And you should actually practice doing that as well. And then afterwards, we can leave out some of the counts in there. By the way, I'm using the E minor chord right now. You can use actually any chord you'd like, but I advise if you practice this to use a chord in which you can play all the strings. It's the easiest because you don't have to worry about not hitting certain strings. You can just focus on getting the rhythm right. Now, when we strum every time we pass by, you could actually count that. We can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight like that. And if we leave out some of those counts, then we can get some interesting rhythms. For example, let's just leave out the second count and the fifth count. So we're going to play the one, three, four, six, seven, and eight. Do this very slowly. So normally we have, if we do all the counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we leave out the second and the fifth, we get this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you notice in your hand that you're making the same consistent movement, the same rhythm, or do you notice that you wait for the moment that you have to strum the strings? It's very important to exercise that. Then we can go a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can have different rhythms, but that's pretty much the basics of how to strum your chords on, uh, on guitar. Now, you're probably not going to get this within the first five minutes of trying this. This is going to ask for some consistency and exercise because like everything that we learn physically, your body has to get used to it we have to automize these movements so it feels natural for our body to strum like this, all right? So take your time to try these exercises multiple times per week, perhaps. Try it maybe with different chords, but stay with one chord so you can really focus on the rhythm and your right hand here, because that is actually the focus right now for this subject. Then if you really get the hang of that rhythm, you can try and maybe switch between different position and chords, because that would be in my opinion, the next step to learn strumming these chords. 
and then we can move towards learning how to play a song with chords as for now. So guys, that's basically it when it comes to strumming the chords on your guitar. Next week I'm going to show you how to play power chords. What are power chords and how to play them. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you learned something again today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. how to strum your guitar, how to strum the strings on your, it's not, you shouldn't, now, we have for strumming our, to our chords, so let's, now, now, now what you're going to see with most, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that their strumming is not consistent, they are going to, they are going to, um, so, so let's just, and then we, and then we, and then, and then we can leave out, uh, to have some rhythm, to, to get that rhythm, to get that rhythm because uh so what we do so what we do so what we do so what we do we do all right uh comfortable comfortable the one if we leave it now then we could uh, then we can go f then we can go a little faster one two three four one two three four so but that's the basic that's bad but that's practically the base of what we that's but that's practically but but that's Practically, this is going to you're going to need because you're little so so it feel so take your time so take your time so take your time because that's because that would because that's because that would do with chords as f I hope you learned again.